What's poppin' YouTube? How y'all doing today? We are back with another video. So this client of mine, man, this kid, he hasn't got cut in like five months or something like that. He was growing his hair out in the back, so that's why it's longer in the back. But uh, he he had a mohawk or a mullet before. Now we're just trying to bless him. As you, see, as you can see, I did wet his hair just so I could be able to comb it out because his hair was kind of, you know, all messy and everything. So wet the hair, we're combing it out to see how it hangs and everything like that. So I didn't really know how to attack the hair. I had to ask somebody for help because he wanted like a crop top type thing. So I got some help. So what I am doing is I am parting the hair at the parietal ridge um, if you don't know what the parietal ridge is it's at the top of the head kind of on like where your temple is at just uh, parting it out right there so that way i can just take out all the bulk that's on the side and then later on come in with my shears and just blend everything to the side so make sure that your parting is as straight as it can be mine's not too great but you know um i got it as straight as i can get it and you want to do it on both sides and then we're going to eventually come in with the clipper over comb and just take off all the bulk on the side so as you see the hair is clipped up and parted so now we have our clipper comb and we're just going to take off all the bulk we can possibly do i'm not going too high because I want to leave bulk on the top top just so when I do have my shears I can blend into that pretty easily so I'm not using a guard right here because his hair really is long it's really really long so I feel like if I would just had a guard my clipper would just got jammed and you know how that be I don't know if you guys ever cut long hair before but it it, it gets jammed so I'm just taking my clipper clipper comb and I'm just haven't added just taking as much bulk as i can without taking the top bulk off and you can continue this throughout the entire head Now that you got the bulk cut down on the side, I'm gonna come in with my shears. And I'm gonna take off quite a lot. I'm gonna take off about like maybe two inches, maybe, yeah, maybe three. I'm not too sure. I'm just cutting off a lot of the hair on top. Um, just make sure you start off with the guide and then follow that guide throughout the entire hair. I'm not the best at shear work, so please bear with me when it comes to shear work because I'm not the greatest at it. Um, I'm a student of the game just like y'all so you know my cuts aren't always perfect I, I'm far from perfect when it comes to cutting hair so again I'm a student of the game just like y'all so I'm learning as I go just make sure you follow your guide throughout the entire hair as you can see that when I do comb the hair back there is shorter on one part follow that guide throughout the entire head. So now for the blending part, we have our balders, our trimmers here. We have the wall high vis. Um, I was lucky enough for Wall to send me these clippers, and let me tell you that these these hit. These are one of my favorite liners. I have not stopped using them ever since. But yeah, man, thank you guys. Thanks Wall for so much for sending me these liners, man. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all gotta get a pair of these, man, for real. So we're doing like a mid drop fade, maybe like a low fade without the hook. So I'm just making my ball line kind of low, um, starting at the temple and then 
dropping it down underneath the occipital bone because I don't want it to be too high in the back. So you want to make sure that the ball line is straight and it goes around the entire head. So you can follow this process on the other side of the head. Just make sure it's all connected evenly. We are going to set our first guy line with our wall magic clips. I'm having the lever all the way open. I'm setting my guy line about a half an inch, possibly an inch. Um, I'm not too sure when it comes to those sizes. I'm going to say probably about like half an inch, maybe almost an inch. Uh, make sure that the, the guy line is straight. And when you do eventually come in, when you do balled out, you just want to have that set guy line and you don't want to go past that open lever when you do close hope and halfway when you play with the lever so just make sure when you get to the top part of where you set your guideline you want to flick out because you do not want to set a hard line i i've i've learned this plenty of years of me cutting hair when you set a hard line it's hard to take out so and that's a major major thing when it comes to new barbers that they, they try to make the the guideline really really straight and they just make a hard line so try not to do that you guys so now that we have our open lever guideline we're gonna have a closed lever and take out that ball line and you do not want to go past that open lever guideline you want to keep it right then and there that's the point of these guidelines so that way you don't go higher and higher and higher so we have closed lever to take out the ball line use the corners to take out any dark spots as necessary you want to play with your lever a lot uh, depending on the hair you want to it you just want to play with the lever um and luckily he has really light hair on the side so it doesn't really take that much to take out the line but some hairs do but for this hair use the lever close halfway open and then also use the corner of the blades to take out any dark spots necessary So now we're gonna set our other guideline with the one open. And you see, I'm setting it in and I'm flicking out right where I wanna stop the guideline at. So that way I don't make a hard line. Again, I'm trying not to make a hard line. So I'm making it about an inch to a half an inch. And when I get to the top, flick, flick, flick. Um, it might take some time to get used to this type of technique when you flick out like that because some barbers might be scared to like oh man I'm, i don't want to go too high and patch them so just make sure you have a good touch with it feather it out and just just flick it out We have our zero guard here and we can use that zero guard to blend into that number one guard that we just made that guideline with. So we have the lever all the way open, use the corners to pick out any dark spots as you can see. If it doesn't take it out, then close it up just a little bit to halfway. And if that doesn't do it, then close it up all the way. Use the corners of your blade. This doesn't have to be perfect. You're just taking out all the dark spots you can see. And when you get to the detail work at the end of the haircut, you'll be able to see what it is. and. You can just play with your levers and just fix it up as you can go. So now that we have that all blended out, I'm using my clipper comb just to create a shape. I'm not digging into the hair. I'm kind of, when I get to the top, I'm kind of angling out my comb just so that way I'm not digging in and I mess up the shape. The shape is the most important part for these, you know, texture tops or crop tops, whatever you want to call it. It is the most important thing because 
everybody wants to shape right when it comes to this because if if not then it doesn't look fluent it doesn't look even so by creating a good shape creates the entire haircut So I have my one and a half guard here and I did see some dark spots so I'm just using the one and a half just to lighten up that dark area that I didn't get with the clipper comb. So I have my one and a half using the corners and I'm just flicking up, up, up and I'm kind of blending into that top portion of the bulk right there. I'm not digging in so I'm just flickering out using the corners of my blade just for the detail work. Now I'm going to come in with my blow dryer and just dry out the hair, kind of texture it a little bit or style it. I have a diffuser. If you guys don't know what a diffuser is, if you go into a salon, I don't know if you guys ever been in one, but you know how you sit in that chair and you sit underneath that little dryer thing with a little, you know, circle little thing over your head. That's a diffuser. So now it's just in a, with a hair dryer. I'm just trying to texture as much as I can. I'm not too great when it comes to these cuts. Um, so you guys are gonna have to bear with me when it comes to it like i said i'm a student of the game i'm learning just like y'all i learn as i go but i feel like this would have been good for a youtube video and some content so i did it and i hope you guys like this video i'm just just trying to learn like y'all man so like comment subscribe don't forget to put post notifications on man i love y'all thank you guys for watching my videos and now i'm just styling the hair um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace and love, baby.